When will modern women accept that they need men? That's a good question. And by the way, drop an answer in the comments if you have one. Seriously, men need women solely for having kids and intimacy. But when it comes to having fun, cooking, and even building and maintaining society, women are not necessary for men at all. Most chicks freak out when they hear this because they've been brainwashed to the point of thinking that the future is female. I mean, wow, what a great thing to have, a female-run society, right? What a blessing to have Barbie telling men how to be men. Happy wife, happy life, and all that stuff that turns men into beta males. Jokes aside, it's fun to see all their narratives and propaganda crumble, especially after all the millions of dollars governments and corporations spend on this crap. You see, this is funny. The I don't need no man bullshit is pushed by the state day in and day out, so you can see why corporations are promoting this thing. However, as you already know, when real problems come through, society needs men like oxygen, and the narratives are left on hold. Have you ever seen those videos, and I'm going to speak to New York City, I, I come from New York City, have you ever seen those videos that pop up from the subway where you'll see a woman being harassed on the subway by I don't know who, and there's a bunch of guys just sitting there watching and they don't do anything about it. Yeah. What do you think is causing that trend, particularly in cities like New York City and Los Angeles among men? I think this whole teaching boys that they're equal to women and women that they're equal to boys doesn't help. Think about when you go to a bar, who's supposed to buy women drinks? Men are. Do you see that as often as... You like years and years ago, all cost. I get all that, man. To protect even that, when blah, girls blah, blah. are fighting with each other, like it is so ugly. It is the ugliest thing that there is men around and they're not doing anything. But why do you think men don't do that anymore? Because they used to do that before. But why do you think they don't do that anymore? They stopped doing that. Why do you think you're a man? <laughs> you tell me. First of all, good uh -huh. question. The reason I think men we don't do it anymore because you guys don't respect us anymore. Okay. Second, you guys don't need us anymore. I don't need a man. I'm a strong woman, independent. You're independent, you're strong. What do you need me for? What do you complain to me not protecting when you already have everything that you want? I'm a b****. What do you need me for? This shows that women do not know a simple rule of life. Actions have consequences. Men don't make the rules, though. They just report them and even keep them in mind not to get played. Better safe than sorry, I guess. More on that in a second. In today's video, we're discussing the interesting topic of women who regret being independent and how clueless they are without men. Trust me, this is going to be funny, so stick around because I'm sure you're going to love this one. But before we go any further, let me share the comment of the day. Shout out to Come On Comment One. He said, I'm a 1987 Plymouth Reliant with 300k miles, fuel line leakage, and the front passenger side wheel is a donut. But I want to be a race car. 35 year old 304 woman talking about marriage. Absolute legend. Please don't forget to reach out to us by email to claim your $5 for that comment of the day. As usual guys, I'll pick one comment from each video. It may be the funniest, the most liked, or one that touched me. So don't forget to leave a comment and you may be our next winner. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons too as it helps a lot. And now, back to the video. Embrace your masculinity. To start off this rant, let's recall something you'll agree with as a MGTOW or man with some brains for that matter. Women need men more than men need women. But hey, looks like saying all this is messed up because the future is female and we need more women in positions of power. What a clown world, for real. Men do need women for one thing only, having kids. Of course, having sex might give pleasure, but let's be realistic. You need food more than you need a pair of tits. Modern women love saying that they're the prize because they're strong and independent. They don't need a man and the whole list of slogans. Yeah, what a treasure it is to have a woman who says that she doesn't need you and you ain't shit, right? Women can't even grasp how stupid they are when they say they're a trophy when, in reality, they're nothing but liabilities. They need men all the time, whether in college, school, or even walking down the street. 
You know how it really goes. The pervs out there who want to harass women are not stopped with propaganda and education to emasculate men. Those weirdos who really want to destroy lives and make women do things they don't want are stopped by strong men with muscles and even guns. Yeah. Women don't need men right until it's survival time, zombie apocalypse, and any dangerous event you can think of. And yeah, even when the bill comes through. I'll run you guys. Did you really come back with two separate checks? Yeah, that's what I was actually doing. You're really going to make me pay? You going to get some ass? No. <laughs> Well, anyways, man, here go to two. She's not gonna give you what? No ass. That's, that's crazy. Man, wait. Are you? I'm gonna pay you 15. At least, sir, show a kneecap. Fuck you. <laughs> He's really making me pay, you guys. Hey, how you get home? You're fucking taking me home. <laughs> You're taking me home. You got gas? No. You want to give that to uh, the right? No. You're taking me home. Mm. I need to heat up the food. All right, you guys. He's not me. First and foremost, this video is. Gotcha, bitch. Feminism ends when the bill arrives, you know. His bill, $15. Her bill, $42. The walk home, priceless. Strong and independent women don't need a man, right? So be it, but hey, she'd better accept the consequences. No, now I change my mind, later I don't type of thing. Integrity and accountability are words women don't really understand. As a man, do you really want to read between the lines or even learn womanese? Hell no. If you want to learn a language, at least learn something that will truly benefit you like Chinese or Spanish. And I'm pretty sure that if you speak some Tagalog words, you'll impress Filipinas too. At least most of them are really already prepared to be wives and not strong and independent boss babes. Life hacks aside, let's break this down because it's fun to see how clueless women are without men. Going back to the last clip, a woman who proudly wears the badge of independence and strength, ready to challenge the world and declare that she doesn't need any man to come to her rescue. Men? Pfft. She's got a pretty low opinion of them, labeling them as nothing more than scumbags in her book. The school indoctrination really did a great job of brainwashing this chick. But wait, destiny, I mean fate, not the simp you know, has a wicked sense of humor. Enter the unsuspecting hero of our tale, a gentleman who takes her words quite literally. He's not one for subtleties, he goes all in. At the end of the day, 1 plus 1 equals 2, and he ain't considering womanese classes at all. They embark on a seemingly uneventful date, everything going swimmingly until the bill arrives. Behold the waiter, the bearer of chaos, presenting two separate bills like a master of mischief. Her share? A not so modest 42 bucks. His? A mere 15 that barely registers on the financial richter scale. But oh, the fun has just begun. Our champion of self-proclaimed independence, who has been known to scorn men for their perceived scumbaggery, has a meltdown of epic proportions. Panic sets in like a sudden thunderstorm, and incredulity follows close behind. And then it happens. The line that steals the show. The man is supposed to pay. It's like a scene right out of a sitcom. Except, it's real life, or as real as it gets. But here's the kicker. The guy in question isn't your everyday Joe. He's a virtuoso of literal interpretation. He lifts an eyebrow, offers a wry smile, and delivers the punchline that deserves an encore. Hey, what's up? You said you didn't need a man, so why not pay for your own meal? Now, with that said, let's check an article that will probably get your blood boiling. The title is, well, get ready. Men need women more than women need men. Let's check it out to laugh at the narratives. Note the word narratives, not facts. Here's the deal. Men need women more than women need men. In particular, marriage benefits men far more than it benefits women. Let's look at some facts. Single men are more socially isolated and lonely than married men. The opposite is true for women. Single men are also less healthy and happy than married men, while single women are healthier and happier than married women. 
Married men earn more money and live longer than single men. Married women earn less, depending on the study. And marriage extends life expectancy more for men than women. Women file for divorce 70% of the time in the US, even though divorce greatly increases a woman's chances of ending up a single parent and or in poverty, but not a man's. Even still, less than a third of women regret their divorce. Why don't women regret their divorces? Because of a number of reasons, but mainly because they had a man on the back burner, or they got her ex-husband's money, or all of the above. Great deal for her, but not for a man who worked a lot to provide for her. Living alone is far better for women than men. Solo living women have more time to pursue their hobbies and interests while cohabiting men say the same. Yeah, that's for sure. I mean, when you share an apartment with your bros, everything gets sorted out quickly. No pesky wife or girlfriend giving you lessons on how to do things. You see, hearing all these things is perfect for a remarkable saga of women who have achieved the impossible, living alone and pursuing hobbies. Yes, you heard it right, this groundbreaking endeavor, this cosmic leap in human evolution is nothing short of extraordinary. For men though, this is nothing new, because men can easily have fun on their own and they don't need to flex. Now, let's pause for a moment to reflect on the sheer audacity of these women. Living alone is a realm unknown to humanity until now, right? Who could have imagined that a mature adult could handle such a challenge? The very notion is awe-inspiring. And oh, let's not forget the pinnacle of achievement, pursuing hobbies and interests. What a revolutionary group of women. It's like discovering fire all over again, or maybe even inventing the wheel. Oh, the wonders of modern life, where women can boldly proclaim their independence for doing what many of us men and mere mortals do with no problem whatsoever. And they say chivalry is dead. Of course it is, because modern women killed it. Are they happy on their own and even proclaim that men are not necessary? Good, enjoy your cats and wine bottles. But wait, there's more. In this riveting tale of solo living women and their unprecedented escapades, we find a mirror image in cohabiting men. Yes, you heard that correctly, men are also capable of expressing themselves in their hobbies, even while sharing a living space. Groundbreaking, right? So, let's give a fake standing ovation to these trailblazing women who've unlocked the secrets of adulting. Who knew that living alone and indulging in hobbies could be the stuff of legends? It's a roller coaster of emotions, a symphony of sarcastic applause, and a reminder that sometimes the mundane can be truly entertaining. For real, it's insane to see women bragging about stuff men are simply supposed to do. Why are there so many women today who say they don't need a man? I mean, because if, if they want to go 50-50 on things, I just don't need them. Because there's a lot of bum-ass men out in the world who don't do enough so us women can supply for ourselves now. Because they're feminists and they like to be feminists. If a man has friends, doesn't want kids, hires a maid and hires a prostitute, why would a man need a woman? <laughs> I don't know how to answer this question. Because of human connection, of meaningful connection, to correct myself, um, just, there's nothing that replaces the authenticity of a partnership. Right. Men need women in a sense because, you know, I don't know, like, they need our love. You know what I mean? True. There's a, you can't really get true intimacy with a prostitute. You, get, you can bust a nut, but that's about it. <laughs> yeah, if you want to have some intimacy, you might as well bang a few women here and there. But in reality, you don't need women at all. As a man, you're the backbone of the economy, a necessary component of this machine, and if you do a job that no one wants to do, you're pretty much a rock star. For real, these modern women who love saying that they're independent, but they don't have the brains to understand that a society run by women would fail in no time. There'd be fights all the time, especially ego battles, and no initiative to solve problems. Just think of these survival shows where women prefer saying that they knew something bad would happen instead of really preventing bad things from happening. By bad things, I mean really serious stuff like spilling water and whining instead of cooperation. In contrast, as you know, men collaborate with one another, except that a man of skills and means has to lead and, surprise, that society thrives and prospers. Why do these women still believe that they don't need men? Because the brainwashing they've gone through is real. 
let's keep on reading the article and by the way, if you haven't already and you like the content, please hit the like button to show some love. Just 5% of never married Americans say they never want to marry, more than half of never married adults want to marry, and one fifth of previously married adults want to remarry. Men are more likely than women to say they want to remarry, and almost twice as likely to actually remarry as women. I cannot think of a single dimension on which women benefit from marriage more than men. It seems very clear to me that men stand to lose a lot more than women if rates of sex, dating and marriage keep falling. Why is this? I think there are several reasons. 1. Wives spend more time than husbands on childcare and domestic labor. This is true even when the husband doesn't work at all. Married men have more time for hobbies and leisure and less stress than single men or married women. 2. Women's habits tend to be healthier and habits are contagious. On average, women eat better, drink less, smoke less, sleep more, and go to the doctor more often. When they marry, men's habits improve and women's worsen. 3. Women have more meaning in their lives and get it from more sources than men. Number 3 is the big one. This is a clown world. What does she mean by number 3? That, that happiness comes from having a roster of dudes who give tons of easy approval and validation, doesn't it? Probably yes. You see, in reality, men are creatures that get happy with just simple activities like working out, playing video games, and having food. Once a man's necessities are covered, he no longer needs women at all, especially if he lives the monk mode lifestyle. No fapping, no fantasizing about hot chicks, no nothing. If he wants to do something all alone, he goes out there and does it. Oh, all without spending top dollar for a meal. Men are happy with simple stuff. Women are the ones who require tons of different things and people to be happy, and that includes men. The OF page does not work by itself. There must be some random dude out there paying tons of money. This is interesting and crazy at the same time. Women have more meaning in their lives and get it from more sources than men. That's the claim. As a man, if you took the red pill at some point, you know this is true. Heck, think about it this way. Women find meaning in life from a myriad of unconventional sources. Their lives are a tapestry woven from relationships, achievements, and pursuits that spark their souls. This, my friends, is the crux of the matter. In the world of consumerism, they're the ones wielding credit cards like wands, conjuring up Gucci bags and clothes that they will never wear. This is what the author means by women have more meaning in their lives and get it from more sources than men. Let's keep on reading because there's a whole lot of things to cover. As previously discussed, the most important factor for health, happiness, and meaning is the number and quality of your social relationships. Yeah, the famous safety net. And your health and happiness are strongly correlated with everything else marriage seems to impact, including earnings and longevity. It stands to reason, then, that social connectedness could explain most, if not all, of why men need women more than women need men. Really? This woman is insane. It's the other way around. Men do not need many things or a whole lot of people to be happy, some basic necessities covered, and a good group of friends. These women think that the thirsty dudes that DM them all the time count as something meaningful. What seems to be happening is that men start out lonelier than women. Women tend to be more satisfied with their number of friends and are less socially isolated than men on average. To wrap up this video, here's another reason why women need men more than men need women. Women often place more importance on both having friends and seeking validation from them. It's not just about having friends, it's about feeling validated and approved by those connections. This validation becomes a significant factor in their happiness. Interestingly, studies show that men may start off with fewer friends compared to women. However, over time, men seem to focus on building deeper connections, valuing those bonds even if they're smaller in number. Women, on average, tend to be more satisfied with their social circles and are less likely to feel socially isolated than men, and still women think they don't need men at all. Women are the ones going on dating apps and feeling like queens because men have to understand their emotional needs, cravings, and all that. These women's contradictions are so evident that it's insane that they claim that they don't need men. If strength and independence are what they portray, they better accept the consequences. Namely, men will not want them at all. 
and you will not want to save them. Stay strong, guys. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you will get five bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video, guys. Till next time.